Here's a little tip I'd like to share with you about handling crosshairs using the content aware fill. All right, we all know how it is. Your client shows up for a photo shoot and they've got hair like this. Don't panic. One thing you do is spray hairspray on your hand and try to tap it down. But if that doesn't work, content aware fill can be your best friend here. And it's a way of quickly and kind of easily getting rid of crosshairs. So let's go ahead and go through it. Starting from scratch, what I like to do is make a brand new layer, Command J on a Mac, Control J on a PC, copy layer to work on in case I make a mistake. And then I'm gonna go to the lasso tool and get up close and personal, and I'm gonna circle a large hair, and I'm gonna use Content Aware Fill. You can find this under the Edit menu, Edit, Fill, Content Aware Fill. And now you wanna make sure you have Color Adaptation clicked. And what's gonna happen is the AI technology in Photoshop is going to fill in what needs to be there. It's really quite remarkable. However, going to the edit menu is kind of a pain. So instead you can hit shift delete, which will bring up the fill menu kind of quickly, but even that's a little bit of a pain. So I'm going to recommend instead you either use an action that you've created or use my action. The idea here is anytime you're repeating a function, make an action. It's so much faster and it's really not that hard. Now I've already created an action that you can use that will fill with content content aware and then deselect it and the action I've made uses an F1 key as the hotkey and there you go you can just circle the hair you want hit the F1 key circle an area hit the F1 key and sometimes Photoshop will make a little mistake and that's okay you just can redo it or apply the F1 key again and again and if you'll notice I work around this piece meaning I don't do all the hairs in an area I work around it so I don't get this helmet head it just allows me some perspective on doing the work this works great on skin blemishes on wrinkles all sorts of things cleaning up fabric it's really a great action this is where I just like to go to my happy place and calmly maybe have a cup of coffee and sit and work and work through the piece slowly. The key is to remember it's going to take some time. This took about a half an hour to finish. Again, you can create your own action to make this. It's really quite simple or use the action. I'll provide a link at the end of this demo that I've created. And um, besides using content aware fill, you can also use the content aware heel tool. And with the tool, you simply paint rather than select and fill. Personally, I like the fill method. Either way, both are a great option to go from this frizzy look to a smooth look. I hope you found this tip handy. And if you're interested, I have many more classes on Creative Live on retouching and mobile photography. Happy Photoshopping, my friends.